Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Default! Before going into the next dungeon, one thing I want to do is modify my special moves. In this case, with some of the parts that we've gotten from one of the shops in Narende, in this case I want to use the water element and attach that to my special moves so that way, well, they'll be water elemental and they'll deal a little bit more damage there. And, let's see, I gotta do that for each weapon type per character. Although, for Adia, let's see, hers is actually a healing ability, even though she's attacking with stabs. But I still want to build it up anyway, though I can't attach an element to it, because, well, it's just healing there. But, yeah, you, you want to make sure you fulfill these conditions as you go. Like, this one is healing ten times. So what I'm going to do is give her the white magic command there, so that way she can heal during battle. Those special move conditions have to be fulfilled during battle. I can't do healing outside of battle in order to build up that special move. So, just something to keep in mind there. So let's check out the Vestment Cave and see if we can't find that rainbow thread. Ugh, what a dank, wretched place. Who knows what's lurking inside? Well, it's a cave. What did you expect? Are we certain we'll find this thread in here? Well, that's what the sage was saying. I wouldn't put it past that sage to be pulling our leg. A slippery old fox, that one. Well, you would now said the slippery young fox. <laughs> the sage has aided Vestals in their service for at least two generations. Let us trust in him for now. Uh, well, yeah, he does look old enough for the job. I wonder how long he's been doing this. Then we've no reason to stand around debating. Let's press on. Alright, let's take a look around here. Make sure you've got a couple of uh, peace rings equipped on your party members while you're going through this place. There's nothing down here. I just want to clear this part of the map. But all right, we got a couple new enemies here. Let's see, we got great mobs and zombie wolves. And let's see, the great mobs can inflict confusion on you, so you want to watch out for that. So let's see, now we got the thief's knife. I don't want to switch that for uh, the katana, even though I would deal more damage, because I want to start building up his special moves. Well, soon, that is. Uh, let's see, the zombie wolves, they are weak to fire! So, I want to... Actually, you know what? Let's go with three of these. Let's go two fires for the zombie wolves, and then an arrow spell for the great moth. There, uh, great moths are weak to arrow, the zombie wolves are weak to fire... And you could also use Cure on them if you really wanted to, but I don't. But it's there. But yeah, the reason why I got the uh, Peace Rings equipped is in the event... Oh, yeah, I need you to uh, work on your healing a little bit. Okay, let's go like that. But yeah, if I get ambushed by the Great Moths and they confuse a lot of my party members, that could be really bad for us. Oh, I've got the uh, battle speed way too high there. Let's try that one again there. Just soften them up a little bit. Yeah, one thing about the zombie wolves there is they like to brave, then use that self-cannibalize move there. And yeah, sometimes they could deal massive damage with that if they get like a really good crit. So you want to watch out for that. But otherwise, yeah, not too bad to deal with there. I'll just leave my HP as is and have Adia continue healing during battle there. Alright, my OCD is satisfied now. There's no reward for the map completion other than satisfying the OCD. Alright, and here we got another new enemy. Let's see, these guys, what are these guys? Blood bats! And... Let's see, I don't think there's anything special about those guys. But let's see, let's steal from them. By the way, well, hold on a sec, let's scan these guys. I'm gonna use an item to start working on my 
special move for knives there. I'll just use whatever. It doesn't matter. Just something, anything. Let's see. These guys are weak to air. So let's use that. Now, with building up special moves, one thing someone was saying or telling me was that H.C. Bailey, if you dual wield weapons, you can build up your special moves in half the time. I didn't know about that. So, yeah, thanks for letting me know about that. But the thing is, is that, well, with the weapons, or most of the weapons that I'm using, I want to be able to use them two-handed. And if I remove one of my weapons, even though I still have the other one equipped, I'll lose that special move progress there. So I'd rather not dual wield unless I'm actually going to be doing that long term, which I'm not. I mean, at least not with my existing job classes. Eventually, I may have Anya's dual wield rods or stabs, depending on the situation. But for right now, we'll leave it up as is. What? Oh, it's like, where am I? Looked like I could walk over there. Yeah, this place has a lot of branching paths, but nothing extraordinary. This isn't Fantasy Star 2. Holy cow, those dungeons. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, why bother working on your special moves now instead of later in the dungeon? Well, the thing is, is that as we go through the dungeon, we'll typically start running into larger groups of enemies, and I won't be able to afford wasting turns having, like, be a heal instead of actually dealing with the enemies or attacking them or whatever. Alright, and there's the last new enemy in the middle there. Uh, Dark Lantern. And those guys can inflict the fear or dread status, as they sometimes call it. And that prevents you from using the Brave and Default commands. But it's really not a big concern during... Uh, what is it? During random battles. It's really only a problem, like, uh, during a boss fight or something. Let's see, they are weak to light, but I can't exploit that weakness right now. Oh, no, I... Well... Yeah, look, you know what? Let's go for a little more damage. I need Adia to be healing anyway. Okay, so let's go fire, and then... Let's go with a couple arrow spells. That ought to be good enough. Well, good thing I didn't get confused by the... Great Moth there. Yeah, you saw how much damage that, uh... What is it? That zombie... Yeah, that zombie wolf dealt to us? Holy cow! Yeah, that could have been really bad if he attacked one of my other... Or, like, Anya or someone else. Okay, hopefully this will be good enough. And you notice I'm not switching to a different weapon type on Tiz. That's because of the special move progress. I still haven't gotten it yet, but... In this battle, I really wanted to examine the new enemy. So, I won't worry about it. I only need to use a consumable item five times, anyway. Phew! Barely, uh, finished them off there. Hey, hey alright. But alright, I think that's all the new random enemies we can meet up with around here. Hmm. I'm gonna leave my HP as is. I think Ring a Bell will be fine. He's got the defense. Unless we get ambushed again. I really wish there was a way of dealing with that in this game. Alright, let's see. Up here we got another one of those blue chests. Nothing we can do about that for quite some time. It really bothers my OCD though. That I can't get that chest right now. No, can never have enough remedies. Okay, the middle path that leads down... That takes us to the end of the dungeon, so let's go this way instead first. Let's see, this is an isolated part of the floor. 
and we get a piece of equipment that I'll never use. I think that boosts your magic defense or something or other. Yeah, I very rarely care about that. So, I suppose you could sell that one if you wanted to, but money's not really an issue here. Yeah, getting that last chest is one of the reasons why I don't have the Divining Rod ability equipped. Okay, and after that battle, let's see, I got my special moves built up, so let's get you back on Chivalry there. And... Let's see, I do need some healing, though. One of those zombie wolves really went after tis. But, okay, good enough. Okay, so I've got all my special moves ready to go. If you haven't done that yet, you want to start thinking about it. This is the last floor. Or the last big floor, anyway. And we're already starting to run into larger groups of enemies to deal with on this floor. Yeah, I don't want to waste turns building up my special moves anymore. I don't need to, fortunately. Alright, and after that battle, we gained a job level for Tiz. And, let's see, he learned Life Thief, which is basically just an HP draining attack at normal damage, but it is really, really good, especially for boss fights. And especially if he's the one who's actually getting hit, because he doesn't have the defense. Although I don't worry about defense too much. Hey, <laughs> an ether. I might actually need to use one of those. Anya's... Mm, she's getting a little light on MP, and she's going to need it. It's coming up. But we'll worry about that when we get to it. Alright, and after that battle, we gained a level for or job level, for Adia, and she learned Knuckle Lore, which can be useful, actually. It's not, it doesn't just raise your uh, weapon proficiency with Knuckles to rank S. It'll also let you have the attack power of a monk if you don't have any weapon equipped, even if it's not, you know, you're not equipping a Knuckle. So that can be useful with a certain natural ability, if you know what I mean, viewers. Okay, I think that's all the treasure we got around here. Well, except for the rainbow thread that we're looking for. Uh, game? There you go. Okay, so before moving on ahead, let's take a look at what we got. I still want to keep Tiz on two-handed, because I'm eventually going to switch him to the katana, but not at the start here. Let's see. Okay, I want to make Agnes into a white mage. So let's go do that. And equip black magic secondary, though I'm probably going to have her focus on healing for the most part coming up here. Okay, so you got that. Okay, let's see. I'm going to leave her on a rod for now, too. Let's see. For ring a bell. Let's see. Yeah, let's give you miscellany there. I don't need you to heal two-handed. Okay, and you stay on chivalry. Okay, now for equipment here, let's see. I'm going to stay on the thief's knife there. Everything else is pretty sta standard. Stay on the mithril rod, but I'll switch her to a mithril staff eventually. And everything else there is good. Make sure you've got mithril bangles on most party members. So, yeah, we're going to need to have that equipped there. You're good to go and get you on a Mithril Bangle as well. Okay, and then heal up just a little bit. Oh, wow, we actually need quite a bit of healing. Okay, let's see. Now, as far as MP goes, let's see, one ether. I think that ought to be good enough for my needs here. Oh, hey, good for you. But, all right, yeah, let's see. Let's, you want to save before heading on up. And by the way, someone was suggesting earlier about using the rod lore that, uh, what is it, that I, I mentioned recently, that actually doesn't affect magic attack stats for rods. So, yeah, that does seem kind of pointless. I would never, like, physically attack with a rod, so, yeah, it seems kind of weird, but, well, there it is. We're still at full after that little battle there. Ooh, shiny. Oh, it's lovely! I'm shocked we actually found it here. 
Now, let's collect it and be quit of this place. We got a teleport stone that we just picked up. Wait, we're not alone. What do you mean? A monster? Is it boss time? It is! Yeah, we got new boss music since it's not an asterisk fight this time around. Okay, so, first things first, let's see. Let's get a couple steals in there with Tiz. And, let's see, Anyas. Yeah, let's... You know what? Actually, let's just defend for now. I think we'll be fine on HP. Let's get an examine in there, though. I don't want too many party members. Uh, what is it? Too many party members acting in the same round. <laughs> Ow! Okay, now I'm going to need a Dia to uh, pitch in here. Uh, there's one more item that I want to get from the dragon, although the dragon fang is very nice to have. Let's see. So let's have you defend, or default, and let's have Dia actually do the healing, even though I'm not really using her for healing, but we got that ability. We might as well take advantage of it. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I don't have any special attacks. So let's just go with Stomp for now there. Mm. Thanks for waiting. Still can't get that uh, item I want. Ow. Oh, wow. He uh, braved there, too. Holy cow. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's use... Let's go with Piercing Bolt there for our special move. Then, let's see, we're going to need a Phoenix Down for Tiz, and a couple healing spells. So, let's see, let's get, yeah, one on Tiz, and then one on everyone. Hopefully, that'll be good enough. While the guy is in negative BP, let's go all out there with, uh, well, not all out, but as close as we can with what we got. So now, you see how I'm chaining these special moves together. Yeah, look at that damage. But yeah, when I chain these special moves together, it extends the duration of the buff that we got from the previous special moves. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Use one special move per round, as you can see. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, just default for now. Ow. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I definitely need Ring a Bell to, uh, get moving here. Let's see. Yeah, let's keep stealing there. And let's see. Agnes, why don't you he heal Ring a Bell there? Hey, hey, all right. We got the spiked knuckles that I wanted to get from this guy. But all right. Okay, so that's it for stealing there. Let's see. Ring a Bell. Let's get your special move going there now, even though I'm not at maximum BP, but that's okay. Think you're ready? Yeah, it's dealing quite a bit of damage because I got that water part attached to my special moves there. And, well, yep, yeah, that's what the dragon is weak to. Okay, so now let's use Infinity on this guy and Life Thief. And let's see. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go all out. We should be able to finish this guy in this round here. Hopefully before he gets another turn, too. But yeah, you see, if you get all your special moves built up before going into the battle, yeah, that can really help you out. I was thinking about switching to the katana, but I don't know if I'd lose my special move there or not. Hey, all right. Yeah, sorry you don't get to hear the new boss music that much, but oh well. Man, it, we're pretty far into the game to finally get normal boss music, because we've had so many of those asterisk fights. But alright, got him. One death, not too bad. Ooh, and a Thunder Charm. You want to hold on to that for later. <sighs> Well, that was a surprise. Yeah, that was a huge dragon! No one said anything about a monster! 
did the old man know about this? If he knew and didn't tell us, he's awful! That would be lying! How could he put the Vestal in danger? Without her, who would perform the rites? Yeah, really! Be calm, Mary. Perhaps this was a trial of sorts. A test of my resolve and skill as Vestal. Regardless, we found what we came for. Let's return with the thread. Yeah, and I suppose we did know there were going to be monsters on the way here, too. So, but, alright, we got what we're looking for. Party chat? No, no party chat. Okay, good. Let's see. Oh, okay, so we got uh, level one for the combat item shop. Yeah, let's just uh, keep working on that there. Awesome. And let's see, let's get out of here. Whew, barely had enough MP to get through there. I still feel dirty about using that one ether, but, well, we're okay. We got what we came for. We got the items that I wanted to steal from the dragon in a reasonable amount of time, so. All right. Well, that was a productive trip there. I'll probably work on my special moves, building them up on the way back to the Sage. But do we have enough rainbow thread to finish the Vestal Garb and awaken the Wind Crystal? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Default. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.